COVID-19 changed everything. Throughout the event, both the university focused on a new sociology of work, teaching, students' engagement, academic advising, and work condition related changes in the universities. We are still continuing to seek out greater ways in which we can improve our virtual learning culture to provide for our students and to the community in large. Forced by the sudden lockdown of our physical campuses in Botswana, Lesotho, Eswatini, and Namibia, the university had to conduct our classes online, virtually for most part of the first semester. In fact, for Lesotho and Eswatini, the classes still continue to run online for the rest of the 2020 academic year. During the pandemic, we leveraged on our technology investments to take teaching and learning online. To ensure no student was left behind, we partnered with telecommunication providers to zero rate our education sites and we implemented mitigation policies that ensured students who could not study during lockdown were able to be supported when our campuses reopened. Pre-planning that we managed to do as we were watching what was playing out in other countries. And this readiness helped us move seamlessly to online learning in four countries. What really helped us, I would say, if I have to say it in two words, is communication, extensive communication, and offering all our staff and students more flexibility in their teaching and learning. There was this war room-like scenario. I mean, all of us meeting every day, uh, trying to find out how things were playing out, um, trying to improvise, make adjustments across the board with just one purpose in mind, that the student should remain engaged and continue to learn. COVID-19 has accelerated the digital transformation of higher education and Boto University's distance learning campus helped the university and the community in large to aggressively embrace this opportunity. As the COVID-19 protocols and unprecedented lockdowns restricted our movement and gatherings from April this year. We saw an opportunity for us to overcome the limitations of conventional classroom teaching by making the walls disappear through innovative, open and engaging digital formats. The university has invested in a robust state-of-the-art mobile learning app and e-learning infrastructure that has a backbone in online and learning problems. And this is the platform that we are going to go, we are using as the university. Uh, this is a Blackboard LAN, which has a Blackboard mobile feature with so many good features like offline, where students can access their content offline without having to have the internet connectivity. And during COVID-19, there was a migration of all the courses into Blackboard for those that were learning conventional and those that are learning online. And we managed to monitor student performance and student uh, participation on Blackboard. We were able, through the very same system, to identify students who are at-risk students and be able to give them individualized uh, assistance academically. E-learning saves time, e-learning saves money, and we don't have to, you don't even have to buy textbooks because everything is online. Our lecturers' teaching methods are different. And with e-learning, everything is consistent because we all answer the same questions and we all attempt the same content. We had already started using Blackboard prior to the pandemic, so it was easier to transition into online learning during the pandemic. It even helped us complete our semester during the lockdown, which was very productive because most students were worried about completing their studies during the lockdown. Well, we had an opportunity to partner with Boto uh, during the first lockdown in our country to enable them to continue with their online learning for their students. So we were able to zero rate their sites so that their students could have free access to the education material on that site. 
Uh, it was a very amicable relationship and we're very excited that Wuth was actually one of the first institutions to approach us to enable them to ensure that the learners continue to learn during the pandemic. My experience with the uh, two universities that they are open to uh, innovation, I experienced it uh, firsthand uh, when I was uh, chosen to be one of the judges at the hackathon the year this year. We are trying to assist uh, learners and schools uh, whenever we can. Uh, we have various uh, e learning platforms that uh, we have uh, available to the public. In March, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we suddenly had to close down for a, a, a lockdown for six weeks. We then had to keep teaching the children, so we had to decide what we could do. We couldn't give them work, hard copy work, so we were looking to extend our online teaching and to start online teaching. So we approached Boto University to give us some help. We had a Zoom meeting with uh, some of the heads of departments so we could work out exactly what we were going to do. Um, when the lockdown was getting towards the end, we were able to bring teachers in and they were given uh, training in our, in our computer labs in the school uh, by Boto University. But we found out that uh, we were still upgrading our computer labs so they were not really uh, up to the task. So they let us use their the uh, facilities at the university we went in there and uh, they got trained on the Google Meeting, Google Classroom and other basic online techniques. So we, we found it uh, excellent work, excellent um, support from them. They also then, once we started actually giving teaching to the students, they also then made themselves available online for any problems that the teachers had and they were, they were very supportive in that. They also supported us in what we needed in the computer labs uh, to upgrade and we're, we're very, we've successfully completed that now so that we are able to, to provide online te teaching as an extra these days now that we, the lockdown has finished. We use it for the homework and the extra work and it's really excellent support that, that we still receive from Volto because they still give us any help that we need at any time. The reason why we were introduced to Wuth University is the fact that we had to take upon uh, or we had to understand how to convey knowledge or how to teach, how to treat students online simply because of the, of the COVID-19. A team from the Rotary Polytechnic Board was able to take a, a course which was given by Bot University, which was very beneficial simply because due to the coronavirus, everything has to, to be done online, including the teaching and learning. 